Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for Tuesday, July the 20th and starting with the S&P on the weekly chart here. Uh, yesterday we talked about wave three top being in play uh, here and pulling back to wave four. I kind of like it in regards to the trading levels and the 4,000 here is a medium level because we haven't really had a correction across that. The market's just blown straight through that. Um, so the 38.2% retracement level would take us back just below the uh, 4,000. Um, the the Elliott Wave rules is one of the rules, there's only three of them, but one of the rules is that wave three here cannot be the shortest out of out of the three impulse waves. So wave one, wave three, and wave five, wave three cannot be the shortest. So, so far we know that wave, if this is the length of wave one here, then wave three is going to, is currently shorter than that. That means that wave five here will need to be shorter than wave three. So we'll need to bear that in mind. I don't know if this top is in play. There does seem a reasonable count that it can be uh, in play. Uh, so we'll just see how far it pulls back and that will be uh, a telling sign. Um, also the US banks uh, are in this space as well in this wave three to wave four here as well. So uh, that's another thing that uh, we can take on board for uh, consideration. But I have to say, um, as always, we just go, you know, it's okay to have a large count like this and, and get into the guessing game a little bit. And sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. So what I normally do is just work through the intraday counts and, and build, you know, from, from the bottom up, uh, rather than this current move here as a, the top down, so to speak. So what we all we need to do is from the top here <clears throat> is just start counting down. Now, it does appear that we're going to get five waves down here. We've only got three now, and the little move up is a wave four rally. Uh, so we'll still need a fifth wave down. But that five waves down here, once that's completed, that will see... Uh, a rally 50 or 60 percent and then we'll see another five down will it bring us down to here will it take us down lower than this all of these things um i don't know we just need to work through uh one count as, as a time so we know we've got we're getting an impulse wave coming down here uh, once it's completed and we'll track that then we'll see three waves up and then we'll get another uh, five waves down now beyond that i don't know we'll need to be mindful once that uh five three five structure completes uh to see if the market's going to move up at that particular point and how far down has it come and so on and so on so uh yeah this is uh, I've rearranged this count a little bit, but um, yeah, so in this case here, we're looking for the first five waves down here that will take us down around the 4-2 area here for a bounce back up into this space, and then we'll get another five down. Now, wave force can get complicated, but at absolute minimum, and this is what we'll also be focusing on this will be five waves down it's not finished yet then we'll get a three wave move back up and then we'll get another five waves down now beyond that i don't know where you know because we get five here that means we'll get five over here so that much we do know um, what we do need to figure out is, well, will we get a fourth wave here and then a fifth wave here? And if we get five here, well, then you know that we'll be getting an ABC pattern over here with another five waves down over here as well, taking us down to this space and making this much bigger. Now, I don't know if that's the case. So this is why we've just got to go step by step. So we know that we're getting five waves here. So that means that we're going to, after a correction, we're going to get another five. But beyond that point there, we don't know. The market can just continue to move up at that point. That's what we have to figure out. That's the puzzle. Wave force can get complicated. Even if we do get these three waves here, then because... The first leg down in a move can be five waves down. And if there is five waves down, then we know that we're going to get a correction and then we'll get another five down as such. 
right? So we that's something that we know. So that's something that we know now. We'll get five here, three here, and five here. But that's all we know at that particular point. But this this three wave move here, this A B C here to this point here, may just be the A wave here. Uh, because corrections, sorry, corrections can either be five, start with five waves or, or start with, or have three waves here. So even if we do get three waves, it does open up a possibility that we can make new highs, but it also makes up a possibility that, well, triangles, the first leg. You know, triangle is in three waves. Uh, flat corrections the regular flat, the expanded uh, flat and the running flat are also got three waves here as well. So that means that they will produce another three waves over here um, and then five waves down here as well. So, but keeping it rather flat at that point. So if we only get three waves here, then we know we're not really going to come down much further than that. But we could be traveling sideways within all of that. So there's a wave fours, there's 11 or 12 different corrections in Elliot, and uh, most of them can occur in a wave four, unfortunately. So it does open up a bit of a Pandora's box, and we'll just need to work through. Now, some of it will be easy, and some of it will be a bit tricky and will require a little bit of patience. But at this stage of the game, just staying with reality here, we're looking for five waves down here, then a uh, correction back up checking supply 50 61.8 percent and all those sort of things and then another five waves down now beyond that i don't know so that's what we got to work with at this point so we're going to need a little bit of uh, patience within all of this this line here this is the 38.2 percent retracement level from down here as wave two here so taking this wave two to this wave three up here that's the 38.2% coming through here. Uh, <clears throat> so that's where it can pull back to. So that's what we'll look. Technically, it can also pull back to the wave four, one lesser degree, which is this one here. So that's also possible as well. So there we go. That's it in a nutshell. Let's just dive in and have a little bit, 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 bit more look at the, uh, at the details with all of this. So these, this would be the five waves coming down. Uh, we're still doing wave four at the moment, so that'll be up there, and then we'll come down for this one. Once we're down here, then we can look at the 38.2%, uh, sorry, the 50, 60% retracement level, which will bring us back into this area through here. So basically a retest of 4,300, <clears throat> the minor level there, and also that will be in three waves uh, as well here be being a b wave here that will be an a wave a b wave and a c wave here and because we'll get five waves coming down here that means that we'll get five waves coming down here as well uh, through here five waves whoops a daisy um <clears throat> yeah depending on how how far they travel and so on um but that's it in a nutshell, um, we'll drill in further and get a little bit more uh, information on this top area through here. So currently, this is where we're at here. It's a bit hard to to get this wave three here, but if you look on the cash market, <coughs> the physical market, you'll see that it's it's a little bit easier. So in this case, we we'll, should see a move to the thirty eight point two percent retracement level, and then a move down to four two at that point. And then you know that we'll be looking for a bounce at that point. So we can start putting Humpty Dumpty together here a little bit, something in this space. Uh, and then down at that point, we can start to rearrange these guys a little bit. It'll be a corrective pattern of this nature. Uh, and that's sort of where we are, really. I mean, there is the possibility that this five waves here can just also be wave one as well bit of a long shot but um it's possible i'll just put that there just to remind us because <clears throat> it's better to go into wave four with the understanding that you don't know what's going to happen and then just really stay with the facts so the facts are that we have three waves down here 
So it is possible, based on those facts, that the market can go straight up from that point. That's just because it's in three waves, it's corrective. And I know it's a bit hard to see this here, but on the cash market, it's very clear. So, yeah, um, if we don't get this wave down here and we just get that, well, then that's all possible. And we need to go along above this top here and go back to our old count. Now, uh, we'll just see how that's just the reality. But if we do get these five waves down here, here, then we'll get three here and then we'll get another five over here. So we can look to be short over here just drawing a line through here this wave b because we get five here when we get to wave c here there'll be five waves in here so you could short the fifth wave um at 4300 for that to get the next five waves down here the a wave normally travels a little bit faster than wave c here normally it's taking out stops and uh all those sorts of things and uh then the then the value buyers come in and uh end up losing money or breaking even or something um okay do we need to go to the t chart we might as well while we're here <clears throat> so this is the breakdown there a little bit clearer here so one and two here and one two three four five here for wave three and we're looking for wave four to pull back up so the 38.2% comes into here it will want to try to get to the four three but um yeah see how that uh, plays out um in this space here and then down into four two it may go a little bit uh lower but uh it's the closest largest number so we have to give it respect that's where we are <clears throat> okay so Let's just well, we here. That's right. Sorry, just getting the brain working. <clears throat> and uh, back to the just the one week here. So just to recap a little bit, um, yeah, uh, wave two was simple. So we should expect wave four to be complex. Will it pull back to the 38.2% retracement level? I don't know what type of pattern that we're going to get in this space here. I don't know. But because wave two was simple, wave four should be complex. What I do know so far is it does appear that we're getting going to get five waves down here, but we've only got three waves. If we do get five waves, then we're going to get a rally and then we're going to get another five down. Will it just be that ABC or will this top here deliver instead of three waves down? Will it deliver five waves down? Um, all of these questions will just have to um, work through that particular um, uh, pattern <clears throat> step by step. But anyway, that's kind of where we are. So that would bring the Russell uh, into, into the same thing as well with a wave three up here. So I've got wave one here, wave two here, one and two here, and one and two and three and four and five, the third wave a fourth and a fifth. So the extension's in the third wave here. So wave one and wave five here being roughly the same length makes sense here. Um, I'd still just look at this as the A wave here, then an A and a B and a C wave here for the B wave, down for one, back for two, down for three, four and five coming here. So we're going to see the Russell back towards the 2000. And um, yeah, I think we should have a look at the bank actually. So this is uh, Goldman Sachs uh, here. It's a weekly chart. And I won't go into the intraday today because I've got other stocks to do and don't normally cover these, but I think it's important. So we've got wave one and two here, which is pretty clear. And one and two and three and four and five here for three. And this is the 38.2% retracement level. So pretty much sort of closer back to the uh, three 10, 320 sort of area here for this. It's holding up quite well. I mean, Goldman's in compar comparison to Bank of America um, <clears throat> has a lot more range uh, in it, has moved much further than, um, than the Bank of America. <clears throat> but even so, uh, we can see that we're in a correction here. It's not quite finished yet. 
and we'll be looking for uh, that type of price action there. Uh, also, the Bank of America, the same sort of situation. It's a bit of a in a weaker situation. It's pulled already pulled quite close back to its 38.2 percent retracement level. Um, it doesn't have the range that um, Goldman's has. has. Um, so it's more, I don't know, probably got better perspective in, in, a, in a way. But uh, yeah, it also, uh, you know, this move down here, we can look at it as an A and a B and a C wave and nearly finished here as well. But it may just be the first leg because wave force can get complicated. But whichever way it goes, it shouldn't go too much further than uh, than that 38.2% retracement level. And also, too, the other interesting point here is with the banks is that uh, wave three was the extension in their structure out of normally out of one, three, and five. One of these markets will extend. One of these trends will extend. And normally with uh, with stock, it's the third wave. Um, commodities, it's the fifth wave. Uh, but if that's the case, if wave three's got the extension in it, then wave one here and wave five here will be roughly the same size. Uh, that's the textbook sort of thing. I normally take 61.8% of the third wave here uh, and add it to the fifth wave or look for 1618 of this reversal here to extend up. But either way, as a rule of thumb, we shouldn't expect it to move too far. So the 48 or the 50 up here would be suffice for um, the Bank of America to complete that particular structure there. <clears throat> Uh, I won't go into the bigger picture of all of this just yet either, um, but I have been looking at it. Uh, so, yeah, look, that's where the banks are. Some of them are weaker than others. Okay, let's have a look at our normal stocks. But before we do that, we need to have a look at the NASDAQ. So, um, I'm going to, I've got you know, there was a lot of money pumped into the system uh, for this wave one here to, to, you know, to get the economy going again. So, you know, it's probably a good excuse to to consider the wave one in the S and P and the uh, the Nasdaq and so on, um, you know, as the primary sort of count, so to speak. Um, uh, or that's the reason that it's long longer than normal, um, so to speak. Now this is. This count here would be a reflection of the S&P 500 count. Now, I'm not quite sure that this is right, by the way. So I'm going to still continue to track my um, my old count as well. We'll be looking at that, but we'll also keep an eye on this. This is, you know, when you consider that this has been the strongest market and we can already see that the banks, some of the banks are already close to their wave force here, then this has got a long way to, to, uh, to, to go at this, at this point. So I don't think that's the case. I, I, I think that here we just, I'll stay with my, my old account or I'll just adjust my old account a little bit. I just see something like this really and then a move up um, from that uh, point. So on my old chart, if I can just go to my old count, we had that wave three top. So I think that we can just be something like this to be quite frank about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, of course, we'll track both counts and we'll be mindful of, uh, you know, situations. Um, but however, um, also too on the cash market, this we could probably use this high here as well. So it's going to be a little bit sort of confusing. But if this is going to play out the same as the S&P, well, then we'll have this rally up here and then we'll have one move down and then we'll have this ABC pattern here, and then we'll have uh, wave C here. So this is a this is the thirty eight point two percent retracement level for this blue wave four down at fourteen thousand two hundred. So I think that um, let's stay with this. We'll stay with this until this leg finishes, this leg finishes, and this leg finishes, and then we'll see we'll see what we get here. Now, if we start getting impulse waves. Well, you know, we get our first little impulse wave up here. Well, we might like to look to go long on that point and buy in on this low here. Um, 
yeah, we only may get that to break even or small profit or something. But if we get five waves here, then after a correction, we'll get another five uh, coming into here. So we'll be able to manage that reasonably well. Break even uh, is probably the first thing that we need to look at in that regard. Um, but it could just move up from that point. So we don't want to be lost, uh, you know, running from the bear, so to speak. You know, we want to, we want to, um, <clears throat> you know, be on the right side at the right time, so to speak. So anyway, we'll just continue to track this one here. We'll get a bit of a look at it. And one of the other things too is the A wave is fast and it always scares people a little bit. The C wave should be on more of an angle. So if we see this on more of an angle, then that's going to be, tell us, going to be bullish. But obviously if we see it, you know, the, the, the dial, if it's 90 degrees, well then as it comes down, well then there's a, a problem at that point. But, uh, yeah, we'll look at all of these things as this wave C comes into play here. And we'll also compare this to, uh, to stock as well. So anyway, let's go and have a look at stock. Okay, with Tesla, as you may know, we've been looking at it as a corrective pattern as we're looking at it now. Uh, well, corrective in terms of a wave four here. It's also possible uh, that uh, we can have this orange wave over here as wave A here and the B wave over here for that and the C wave over here for that with wave four here and then continue to move up and make new highs. Now that's okay and we can look at that again later. We been, have been looking at that in one way or another. Um, but if that's going to occur, we need to be above the 800 for, for that. Um, so this market really, um, the thing we've got to watch out for is we do have a five wave move here. So, you know, it's possible that this move here could be counted as five waves. There's a good possibility this could be counted in three waves as well here. So it's a little bit tricky, but this five waves here, we should get something similar to that over here from the B wave over here. So this is, you know, I was hoping this would be impulsive and bullish here, and it still is, but it's just a little bit sort of weak on that level. We could look at it as wave one and two here, and one here, wave one here, and A and a B and a C for wave two, or we could look at it as one and two here, and three here, and A, B, C for four here, and then up for five here. So it has overlapped here, so we probably can't use that. But the point is being here is that from this low here, this market has been traveling sideways across this level here. So it's probably corrective how it plays out. Um, just it's a little bit of a guessing game because we're in the middle of a wave four here. So uh, it can be counted as an A and a B and a C here for the A wave and then an A and a B wave here. This could also come down here. One more little move here. Um, uh, as as an A, B, C here for the A wave, an A and a B and a C for the B wave here, and then up for the C wave here to finish at the 61.8% and then roll over from that point there. If, you know, if the markets were going to maintain to be bullish as, you know, uh, as we're looking at them uh, earlier, then, um, you know, we can, this mark, either way, this market has to be support. We have to see a nice tested support on the 650 and we don't see that yet we see that retesting it there as i mentioned we could count this slightly differently in the same uh in the same sort of way here with this here as an a wave here and an abc for the a wave here a b wave here and a c wave over here but uh this overlap on this one here has taken that out so that's not much sort of chop but this little move down through here for intraday traders we should just have a look at that i'll have a look at it on the um tick chart here that should be enough yeah so it's this little move here um this appears to be five waves this here's an a and a b and a c by the looks of it so this is this is this five waves or isn't it this is the thing here because i thought that there may be another move down from this point so we could probably view all of this as wave one here and two here then one two three four five i know there's a bit of an overlap here on fourth but that's what happens when you're working with large numbers and the 650 
<clears throat> to the normal person is not a large number, but um, in terms of geometry and all the rest of it, it's extremely important. It's been the balance point all the way as i say six is important seven is important but it's always the 650 that ends up being the trade setup so i think that this is five waves to this point here so we'll look at this as a fourth wave and a fifth wave one more to come down here uh that will be in line with the stock market so unless this creates a classic trading levels pattern you know get there uh, something like this we we'll need to get we we'll need to see something like this here um, but we're not there yet with that. So, um, yeah, I think there could be one more move down. But look, if we get a trade set up here, uh, we'll look to trade long on this. That's not, not, not the problem. We don't have that, uh, sitting here just yet for, for this. So, <clears throat> yeah, just coming back to this day chart. So it's a little bit of a tricky correction this one here we're right in the midst of it so uh don't expect anything from it don't have any high expectations this market is 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 going uh in, anywhere because you know even if it moves up there's resistance everywhere for it you know and the haunting factor is is that this five wave move here um can play out uh over over this side over here for this which is probably the case this, this count hasn't changed, you know, I've changed it a little bit of things moved through, but pretty much originally it's always been pretty much the same, uh, here. Um, definitely a, definitely a, a, a correction by the looks of it. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. With Facebook here, I've got it like this here because I know from this low here moving up through here, we have five waves in this move here. We also have five in this move and one, two, three, four and five here for this. We could put wave four over here for this. And then this would be wave one ABC for wave two here, wave three here, wave four here and wave five here. And we have a top in play there. And we come down harder from that but I, I don't think that's the case um so i'll just I, i'm not quite sure i don't think this is the right count either um but i do like the fact that wave four is here um based on this particular correction that we worked through as a triangle pattern that worked reasonably well through all of that so i'll just see how this goes here i mean with with the nasdaq we're looking for an a and a b and a c wave here for this so Let's have a look at see what this looks like down at 320 here. And also, too, in terms of a bearish market, what we normally do is that, the, well, from 300 is the closest, largest number. Then we've got group one, which is 10, 20, and 30. So I normally understand that if the 20, the number two in, in group one here, in minor group one, one, two, and 10, 20, and 30, if that two becomes the resistance then it'll be pulled down to the closest largest number at this point um, and if that's the case then the, then it warrants a, a top being in play at that point but i think we should just monitor this for a little while um this move down uh through through first leg is not finished yet so that will come and bounce off the 330 basically bounce back to the 340 to 350 area uh, and then move down. So uh, we'll just wait to see what it looks like once we've got these five waves in play here as the A wave, the B wave and the C wave here. So yeah, a lot more work has got to be done. But basically what we'd be looking for here is that if we do get an A and a B and a C here, and probably that's uh, even though the count may not be right, um, this this much here would be pretty much in line with what's going on at the moment. That means we could actually build in a long position on the top of group one over here on the 30 here, if it plays out nicely. So we'll just uh, leave that um, as it is for the moment. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we could count it as being completed up up here for for that and go into a much larger correction um so let's just uh let's just work with the intraday here and then once we understand if we've got to move up here then we know that we ha don't have a top in play but if this becomes the resistance then well we'll look at we'll look at that at that point um but in terms of uh, a trade setup here uh 
the indicators are looking quite good at this at this stage. We're, they're not not ready yet. Uh, Stochastics is not ready yet, so we want to pick it up way down here at the uh, three twenty area. Um, but we will do the trade as with a classic trading levels pattern sitting on top of the three thirty there. Um, if that if that plays out, then that will be our trade setup. I don't want to short it uh, in amongst all of. I don't want to short against the main trend unless I'm really sure of what's going on. And for that, we do need a nice impulse wave to the downside. We don't have that just yet. You could short it from wave B high if that interests you. So I'll tune you into that when that comes into play here. Alrighty, let's move along. Uh, square. Um, it's been in a correction a bit like the Russell for quite some time now from this top here. We know that the move down through here here is an A and a B and a C wave here. We know that this move to the downside is corrective, bullish corrective. So it's logical to look at this in terms of an A wave here, a B wave here and a C wave here. I also understand that wave force can get really complicated. So if this gets sort of bent out of shape here and we can't count it as an impulse wave then we'll look at that but as it stands we'll continue to keep this wave four into play here we were looking at uh, this market being one and two and one and two here there's, there's a possibility that we could look at it as one and two in here and three four five here with a uh, with a deeper retracement uh, in in play uh, so we can just put that in and look look at that to see where that that is that's right down here so typically we we couldn't go bearish until we had this number here as the resistance which is also uh, from 200 we've got uh, major level then the minor levels one two and three that make up group one so once again to the 220 here would have to become the retested resistance for that to play out like that I'm going to go to the tick chart to uh, have a look at this okay so I do have it like that on the tick chart that's interesting um, okay so as wave C here, we'll look at this as one and two, probably three, four, five here for this. The correction, this will be the third wave with the gap in it. So there's still another little move to go down here for this. So we can just shapen this up a little bit. So we can shapen this up along here. It's roughly in here somewhere with this here and this here for this. So we're still looking for this to, uh, once this finishes rallying here, we'll look for a move in here to finish this, to complete that so we still need to get confirmation we may be able to go along here but we'll see how the rest of the markets have played out by uh, at that stage but uh, our game was to add on top of this level up here for that okay let's move along okay so this is apple and um yeah uh either way that we look at this we're looking for a move down into the 140 area and like all markets that we've been looking at the first leg down here is not quite complete yet so we'll be looking for something of this nature and we'll pick this up at the 139 140 uh, area got its own thing happening here I mean the only mistake that I could make here is by having this green wave situation here and putting blue wave three here but um, I'll just give it a bit of space because at the 150 here would be looking for a classic trading levels pattern across that 150 so the arrival the reaction the first high above the level so we've got the arrival here we're in the reaction stage so in that we're about just here at the moment so we'd still need that to finish off that that and then we still need the first high above the level then we would need that and then we would need that so we could buy back here um that's okay um but yeah long understanding this pattern here the only sort of because it's already reacting from here we, we're not going to be in the overshoot pattern so the only other pattern here would be a variation of this where it doesn't drop below the level uh, here in this case 
yeah, but that's, the, but that's the only sort of difference that we would be able to see here for this. So, yeah, all pretty sort of simple. So, I mean, of course it can hit the level and never come back like it's done over here. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's sort of, you know, we've got this high here and then we've got this move I mean, unless that's an, an an A and a B and a C wave to this point and then the five waves up here. But either way, we'll still be safe because we, we have to wait for that classic trading levels pattern to play out across there. And also, um, <clears throat> next one is, uh, is Alphabet. So not a biggie here. We were looking for this to drop back yesterday. So that's good. There's still me, maybe one little move in this, but that wave four there, we can see now that we've got this A wave, B wave and C wave here. And like I said, there may be another little move down through here for this, but uh, that should suffice at that point. Not that we need to go long here just yet either. There's still more work to be done. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll just leave this out of the way here for a moment. Um, yeah, there's still upside to be had here. It's just doing its thing at the level, so we'll just uh, wait for that. We're a little bit early over this side. But even so, there's not much, um, not much to pull back down here, so a little move down here, and then we'll start to move up for this move here. And also the last one is Amazon. So yeah, with Amazon, we're looking at this being a wave four here. Now, obviously that puts, this is a one, Amazon on 100 ticks. It does put it in a bit of a, a tough spot now because um, when we're counting up here, uh, we're counting as one and two and one and two and three here. So it's probably not the case. We'll probably need to look at this uh, a little bit differently now as well, because this will play out here. We'll get a bounce here. We'll come through here. We'll get this move here and then we'll get this move here. So yeah, we'll have to rearrange uh, this. So this is Amazon on the, on the daily chart here. And we've got well, it's pretty clear we've got wave three here with an A and a B and a C wave here. So that's all pretty nice. And then we've got this wave one up here. So that's okay. And wave two here. We can count one, two, three, four, five here, but it looks a bit sort of odd putting wave three here and wave four here because it's just overlapping at that, those points. You know what I mean? Probably, possibly, but, um, doesn't seem quite right so we'll just continue to think about this for a little mo for a little while um so i've had it as one and two here and then one and two and three and four but that's not right either so we can remove that we can just get this out of the way for a second we need to just have a clear space here but what we can expect in line with the general markets is another move here and then a move up and then a move back down here. So it would really kind of put this here as wave one here and wave two over here in that regard, wouldn't it? You know, that would be the next logical step with that. But uh, that sort of stretches it out a little bit too far as well. So not quite sure how to look at this just yet. So... If anybody got any ideas, that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, a little puzzle that needs to be solved. Unless that's part of that. Yeah, but any, either way, um, in terms of us trading this, let's just, first of all, let's, I mean, what I'd like to do in corrections is always just wait for the first leg to move down to see if it's in three waves or five waves. So let's just see if that's going to deliver five waves here. You can kind of see that we've got one and two in here and three here. So there'll be four and five here for that. And then there'll be a three wave move here and then we'll get five down here. So we'll see, <coughs> we'll see if we can get a, uh, a buying opportunity down here somewhere for this. 
but let's just see how it plays out. Let's see what it does first, you know. It's made a move. Let's just allow it to finish it, and then we'll pick it up when we need it. Um, yeah, but I can't see it. It can't be a, it can't be the end of the trend um, because it's ending in three three waves here. So that's not going to play out unless we got some large B wave here, which is take it expand it flat, which is not which is way out of whack. Um, so the trend is still up. It's just a matter of um, of uh, how that's going to play out here and i think that if we just take the low here and here for this for the time being and put that in here that will be that will be our target area there so coming down into 33360 area there so it won't i don't think it'll even come that low So we're just going to track five waves in this move here, and then we'll be able, we'll be able to go along on the three five again. So we'll get a classic trading levels pattern here. That's what we'll look for, uh, and if we get that, we'll look at going long here for that. But in the meantime, we've just got to be a little bit patient, and I want to see where the Nasdaq sits and so on and so on. But uh, yeah, I think I just need to put a question mark here for this because it's. It seems to be it seems to be on account all on its own here. So, yeah. Sorry, I don't have any answers for this, but um, yeah, we'll pick it up. Um, we'll we'll just keep monitoring it. We'll look at five here, three here, and five here, and then we'll look to go along over here if we get the setup, and we'll manage that ex that risk, initial risk, and the exposure in the trend. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is, but we've still got. It's not, it can't end like this, she said. Alrighty, cheers.